Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the My First Masjid tutorial for our punch needle kits. Each DIY kit includes two patterns so you can choose from either Masjid on the Hills or Salam on the Hills. Here's what's included. We've included 10 bundles of yarn in some beautiful colours, the embroidery hoop, embroidery cloth, the punch needle tool and two patterns so you can decide which pattern to work on once the kit arrives. Our first step is to trace our chosen pattern onto the embroidery cloth and a good tip to do this is to use any window as your light box so just stick the pattern onto a window, stick the embroidery cloth on top of the pattern and you'll see that the light will help you see the pattern through the embroidery cloth. Now you can trace the pattern with a pencil. Next, fit the embroidery cloth onto the hoop like so. Um, make sure that you pull the cloth as tightly as you can. Um, you might need to screw and pull a few times just to get the cloth as tight as possible. Uh, the tighter the cloth, the easier it will be to do the embroidery. Next, we're going to use this threading wire to get the embroidery wool through this punch needle tool. So you just thread the wire through the tool like so, loop the wool and then pull it through. Um, the little hole you see at the top, the wool needs to go through there as well. So use the same threading wire, just poke it through, loop the wool in and pull it out like so. You can watch this section a few times just until you get it right. It's pretty straightforward, um, but the first time might be fiddly, but with practice you will get there. Now onto the actual embroidery. The first step is to always make sure that there's plenty of unraveled yarn from the bundle just so this can easily flow through the punch needle tool as you're doing your embroidery. You don't want the yarn to be tightly wrapped around the bundle because that will undo any of your work. So just unravel and make sure that you've got plenty of room for the wool to flow through the punch needle tool easily. This technique is pretty straightforward and can be therapeutic once we get the hang of it. Initially, just push the tip of the punch needle tool through the embroidery cloth, pull out the excess yarn, so that will be the yarn that's coming out of the hole on the tip of the punch needle tool, flip your work over and then just carry on pushing the punch needle tool through. For a neat finish, always start on the outline of your patterns. Um, the tip of the punch needle tool has an open part and that open part should be facing the direction that you're going to complete your pattern. So the open part of the tip of the punch needle tool should always be facing the direction that you're doing your embroidery in. Be careful not to pull on any of your previous embroidery just because this technique can be quite easy to unravel which is great when we make mistakes um, but just be careful with any embroidery that's already been done because you don't want to undo any work by mistake by pulling on it. Stay as close as you can to all of your previous embroidery lines for a nice and neat finish so all of the gaps are closed with embroidery. Here is an example of where I wasn't too happy with the embroidery line so I've just pulled on the yarn just to unravel the work that I've just done just so I can redo it. So it is pretty forgiving if we make mistakes, it's easy to redo. Once you've finished a section or you want to change colours, just flip your work over and pull out some extra yarn but make sure you're pulling from the barrel of the punch needle tool um, so that's where the free flowing wool is coming in don't pull from the tip because that will undo your work so gently pull out some extra yarn from the barrel of the punch needle tool and just cut off the excess so you can pull the punch needle tool out Repeat the process for the different sections using the different colours that you want to use. We have provided lots of yarn with our kits so you can really make this project yours and make it your own. There are a few ways to finish embroidery projects and I'm going to show you one today. Firstly, I'm cutting any of the excess loose yarn on the back. Try your best not to pull on any of these loose bits because you don't want to unravel any of your work. I'm going to be cutting off the extra embroidery cloth around the ring. Um, sticking it down using PVA glue or any craft glue that you have. Then I'll be cutting out a circle on some spare cardstock and I'll be sticking this on the back just to give it a neat finish and also to protect any of the loose ends that are on the back of my embroidery hoop. And Alhamdulillah, that's it. 
that's all done and it's ready for you to decorate with or to gift to a loved one. Jazakallah khair for all your support.